Hello, my name is Thomas Lee. I'm with Reality Flex Studios, and this is the third video that I'm going to do for right now. That's an add-on uh, suggestion from the YouTube comments, and that is to add a sound effect to the turning on and off of the um, flashlight, which is a very good suggestion. And there's a couple techniques. Uh, that we can utilize. I want to first show this website. Um, it's a website that allows you to create 8 bit sounds. You can adjust all these different settings and come up with some pretty cool sounds. Let's see. Got laser. You keep on clicking it and it will randomize it and then there's this other site I found that I actually used um, per their agreement I'm not allowed to post the actual sounds to download you have to download them yourselves uh, so this is the website it will be in the description sound J that's spelled out J A Y dot com slash switch dash sounds dash one dot html and as you can see here the terms of use I'm not allowed to post the sounds on any website for this to download link directly to or sell the sounds to anyone else you have to download them yourself I chose I believe two and three no three and four it was just a single see that this one is double click so this one light switch on the wall and the two different sounds so one is on and one is off so those are the two I use. I down I previewed them, I downloaded the MP3 version, and I renamed them to I believe just on and off. Switch dash on and switch dash off. So I'm going to create a folder in the project pane. Name it sounds. And then from where I downloaded them to, I'm going to drag them into this folder. They will import and they're called switch off and switch on. Okay, and from there, the other setup we have to do from the main camera, we have an audio listener and we need to add an audio source. And you can get different effects by if you put the listener on other objects. The, the uh, sound, the volume of the sound is based on how far away the audio source is from the audio listener. I'm putting them both on the main camera. So it's going to be very loud. If you put the sound source on the actual object, then you get a different effect where it actually sounds like it's coming from somewhere else. Um, just for simplicity's sake, I'm putting it on the camera. So I'm going to component, audio, audio source. And then we want to make sure it is not play on awake. And I actually lower the volume to 0.25 because it is pretty loud at one. And those are the two only two things we have to change in that. So in the code, we are going to go to the flashlight script. We're gonna add a couple variables up here. We're gonna use we're gonna do two public audio clips. Public audio clip on public audio clip off and then an audio source. We're gonna have a variable for the audio source that we get from the main camera, but we use it in this script. So private audio source and I'm just gonna name it audio source with a lowercase a. And then in awake, we want to get that 
object. So audio source equals game object with the capital G find main camera with the space and then we want to get the component from main camera I'm going to use the generic with the, with the angle brackets um, audio source with the semicolon so what this does is it gives us access to the audio source component of the main camera so that we can then manipulate it in this code okay and then in right here where we this is the battery or the flashlight turning on they hit tab they have a flashlight and it's turned off so we're going to turn it on and we're going to say audio source clip so this actually sets what clip to be played we're going to say on and then we're going to say audio source play and then when we turn it off we're going to do ver something very similar we're going to set the audio source clip to off or whatever you named it and then we're going to play it source play And then back in Unity, we have to go to the third person controller. I'm going to minimize this to give us more room on the inspector. Flashlight script. It is not updating. One moment, let's see. We want the two. Oh, I need to save it. Give it a second. Hmm. One moment. Okay. So what I found out is I was in the wrong Visual Studio project. For th I was actually in the other tutorial Visual Studio project. So I was modifying that code and that's why it wasn't changed. But I opened this up the correct one and I caught I pasted that code over here you'll the only change that I made I moved this up above the public light headlight just those two lines those are the only things that I changed now back in unity you see the on and off variables so what we do drag the switch or the sound over that's off and then on you can apply that Press play, pressing tab, nothing happens. Walk over, get the, pick up the, the flashlight. And now we have a sound effect when we turn on and off the flashlight. All right, thank you for watching. I hope I covered everything. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments or message me directly. I will address them in future videos and reply uh, to your messages. Alright, thank you for watching. Have a good day.